today, I want to talk about these four topics. One is uh, what is COVID-19 infection in Japan from the beginning till now. Second is our society just for COVID-19, what we did and what we are doing. And number three is the national survey of uh, you know, radiation oncology department in Japan. And uh, finally, I want to talk uh, what I am thinking in future. Can you proceed to the next slide? Next slide, please. Yes. Okay. In Japan, the first patient who returned from Wuhan, China, with COVID-19 was detected on January 16th. After that, a cruising ship named Diamond Princess with infected patient docked at Yokohama port on February 3rd, and many medical staffs took care of the patient from the cruising ship. Finally, 712 infected patients with 13 deaths. In February, the number of infected patients gradually increased and uh, many scientific meetings were canceled or postponed after mid-February. Most schools were closed after March 2nd. Since March 5th, immigration was restricted from various countries. Thereafter, the number of infected patients increased rapidly in the end of March, especially in the metropolitan area of Japan, you may know, such as Tokyo, Osaka, Kyoto, Kobe, Sapporo, Nagoya, and Fukuoka. The Tokyo 2020 Olympics Games was decided to postpone till 2021 on March 24th. Domestic travel restrictions were asked in March, and uh, finally, a state of emergency was declared on April 7th. Travel restrictions, refraining from going outside and closing shops and restaurants started. Next slide, please. In April and May, almost all shops, restaurants, schools, and companies were closed. May, because of Japanese self-control, the number of infected patients decreased gradually. And finally, a state of emergency was lifted on May 26. By June 12, 2020, the number of COVID-19 cases reached 18,000 infected patients and 942 deaths in Japan, which may be relatively lower than other countries despite the early outbreaks. Next slide, please. COVID-19 is a very important issue in Japanese radiotherapy department. JASTRO, Japanese Society for Radiation Oncology, established a COVID-19 ad hoc committee on April 10th. We started a weekly webinar on COVID since April. We established a JASTRO recommendation for daily practice and guidelines for clinical protocols after COVID-19 on May 12th and 20th. Since a very, very famous TV star, actress, was dead of COVID-19 pneumonia a few months after post-breast conserving radiotherapy, many Japanese patients with breast cancer were concerned about post-operative radiotherapy for breast cancer. Therefore, Jastoro made an urgent recommendation to deny the direct relationship between COVID-19 pneumonia and radiation pneumonitis on April 25th. 
we also perform a nationwide survey after COVID-19 between May 11th and 12th, 22nd. Next slide, please. Right, please. Okay. So Japan has uh, around 836 uh, radiation centers, maybe the third largest number in the world, and 545 institutes. Uh, almost 60% uh, responded to our questionnaires. The questions were regarding the IPC measures in use and uh, clinical practice as the department. As a result, most of the respondents indicated that they had taken some infection control measures for COVID-19 with 64% Checking patients' temperatures above 37.5 centigrade and uh, assessed airway symptoms daily. 81% asking mandatory facial mask and 90% uh, asking social distance at the waiting room. Radiotherapy staffs were checking their temperature every day at 78%, wearing masks at 98%, and performing hand hygiene at 99%. As shown in, on the left-hand slide, the number of radiotherapy patients decreased at 41% of all facilities and increased at 4% of all institutes and were same as before at 9, 55%. 90%, 19% of all facilities decided to decrease the number of new patients to start radiotherapy. 32% of all facilities adopted less hypofractionated fractionated schedule. Of course, Post-treatment follow-up was postponed at 44%. By this time, five facilities out of 545 issues, that means 1% uh, experienced COVID-19 infected patient during radiotherapy or infected radiotherapy staff. Therefore, Temporary, temporarily closing of radiotherapy department happened at two facilities in Japan. By now, five days at one institute and one day at the institute. There are many requests to the JASTRO law and we are responding right now. And these results uh, indicate that uh, there are differences in IPC measures for COVID-19 between radiotherapy departments, including checking body temperature and their symptoms, hand hygiene, and wearing PPE. In addition, at this time, it was found that COVID-19 infection at radiotherapy occurred at only five institutes and uh, that COVID-19 had little impact on radiotherapy practice in that meaning as a whole. However, the total number of patients who received radiotherapy apparently de decreased in Japan after March. Recently, it is uh, gradually increasing. We must carefully watch the patient who avoided radiotherapy during this period. Our questionnaire was useful to know the current status of radiotherapy department in Japan. This survey will be periodically repeated to monitor the impact of COVID-19 on radiotherapy in Japan. Although the number of COVID-19 was relatively low compared to other countries, we must prepare for the second wave of COVID-19.
Next slide, please. So in future, we radiation oncologists should prepare for the new world with or after COVID-19. More hyperfractionated schedule could be available with SBRT stereotactic technique. On the other hand, clinical trials demonstrating the superiority of radiotherapy to surgery should be patiently continued. Immunoradiotherapy, particle therapy, glass therapy, and AI, artificial intelligence-related radiotherapy are also promising therapy. I personally want to visit Astro, Estro, Paro, and IEA meeting to see my friends. I also want to have the Olympics Games in 2021 in Tokyo. Thank you very much for your attention.